Uh, hello, everyone. Here's uh, Michael from Bookview in Samla. Today, uh, today I should uh, give you a brief introduction for our own company. Xiao Zhong, go ahead. Company focus on water quality analysis and sensors. And uh, one, uh, since uh, uh, 2007, and uh, now uh, uh, around 15 years of history, and only focus on water quality analyzer and uh, sensors. And uh, total staff is around uh, 200 persons, and uh, now build uh, two factories in Shanghai. And uh, year, year production quantity around uh, 100,000 pieces for water quality analyzer and uh, sensors. And uh, the third floor is our uh, office. Our marketing office around uh, uh, 20%. Now here is the showroom. And uh, show you our uh, instrument. And uh, this model is our uh, multi-parameter water quality analyzers. It's uh, mainly used uh, for, uh, for waste water and fish farming applications. The advantage for this instrument is that it can integrate eight different sensors, such as pH, connectivity, dissolved oxygen, ammonia, and COD, TOC, and also flow or level. Also, all can be integrated in one, uh, in one display. And uh, also with local, local data log function and uh, with uh, wireless. One is for cloud, and that with, with uh, this one is you can monitor the data on your web website and uh, mobile. And all sensor is uh, is uh, uh, waterproof. Uh, the production all sensor is IP68, and it can be directly submerged in water, and uh, all is uh, water, waterproof. Okay, this one. Okay. 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 This model, this model is most popular for waste water and drinking water applications. It's uh, it's a with uh, a glass ball, uh, memory and uh, with the temperature compensation. Yes, the temperature compensation can be uh, PT one thousand, PT one hundred, ten k and thirty k. It uh, can be designed uh, according according your need. Okay. This is very popular. Year quantity around 100, 110,000 pieces for export. When the OEM, OEM for many, many international brand. Okay, this model. Okay. This model is uh, for special application, HF acid. The, so we also call it as uh, uh, antimony pH sensors because uh, for common pH sensors, <laughs> common pH sensor is glass and uh, this one is antimony material. Uh, because for HVF acid has a corrosive for glass, so we use a, a special antimony material for, for this. Yes. This one, this one is a uh, special, also special pH sensors for a uh, power plant just for ration process. And uh, the membrane is flat, so we, we also call, it, call this sensor as a flat service pH sensors. Yes, uh, special used for power plant. Okay. Okay. 
different uh, different uh, memory. Okay. Combo pH sensor and for drinking water with the water and and the morning pH sensor, flat memory pH sensor. Okay. And uh, this model pH sensor is for is a uh, it is mainly for fermentation and sterilization. The sensor can handle one hundred thirty degree, and uh, we also uh, also use a sanitary material and with the FDA certificate. Okay, we can we can see this. The membrane is uh, is over, is over. It can handle six bar pressure. Yes, the liquid is also geo 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 liquid. It actually is geo. Okay. And uh, the connector, the the connector connector is all all international standard. KBRS, S8, and VP connection. VP connection is all international. Can you show pin paper? Okay. Uh, if, if you use a, a metal to little our handmade brand, now you have a new choice. You can directly use our uh, Z sensor to replace them. Yes. Our Boku and uh, Sincerely Boku instrument build the first high temperature uh, laboratory for, uh, for pH sensor in China. Yes. And uh, now we introduce the connectivity sensor. Connectivity sensor is similar pH, many application is, uh, uh, is, is pure water and uh, waste water and fermentation or sterilization application. And uh, unit, this is a combo, combo type with uh, the stainless steel material and the plastic, uh, plastic uh, thread. The thread size is uh, Plastic thread, plastic thread. The thread can be designed according according you need. Okay, and uh, it's uh, the K factor is from from uh, the range can be from uh, zero microsiemens to uh, two thousand microsiemens. Now you can see different uh, yeah. Okay, plastic, and uh, for for this model, the uh, temperature is less uh, six uh, six uh, uh, sixty degree high temperature. Okay. This one, this one is all stainless steel material. SS three one L six uh, SS three one uh, six L material. It's a totally sanitary, and it can handle six bar pressure and one hundred thirty degree. Yes, all sanitary material. This model is uh, is trick calendar, trick calendar connection, uh, connectivity sensor mainly for, for for pure water for our ultra pure water, and uh, for CRP CRP uh, process. Yes, it's a uh, it's with uh, it's with a uh, uh, standard trick calendar easy easy installation easy clean. Yes, or is a sanitary, sanitary material. 
and uh, uh, SSS three one six zero material. Okay. This uh, is uh, inductive inductive connectivity sensor. We usually we call uh, this connectivity sensor as a contactivity type uh, connectivity sensor. For this uh, inductive pre simple connectivity sensor, we also call it, it as non contactivity uh, connectivity sensor. It's uh, used the inductive uh, principle, mainly used for high, high, very harsh uh, application um, for industrial for for uh, for industrial waste water or an high high concentration acid or alkali. Yes. And usually uh, the material is PP material. The PP material the uh, for PP material the uh, temperature can be uh, up to 100, uh, 100 degrees. And uh, we also have uh, another material PFA PFA material. It's for uh, temperature can up to 150 degree and the pressure can up to uh, 16 bar pressure okay if you may if you get the measures uh, uh, a different acid or alkali concentration or a CRP application you can choose uh, this one it's very popular and uh, very not working nice you need for for PP material the uh, service life is around five years for PFM material, the working life is around 10 years, so it's very non-working life. Uh, this one is uh, ORP, ORP connection, ORP pH, ORP sensor, ORP sensor. Uh, some customers uh, have, uh, can know the difference, can uh, don't know the difference uh, of pH sensor and ORP sensor. You can see the memory. So for ORP sensor, here is a platinum ring, platinum on the glass glass bone. Yes, for ORP. Okay, for ORP has a platinum ring or a platinum plate. It's really platinum material. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Hmm. This is what tube. This is tube. And uh, now we introduce uh, uh, your dissolved oxygen sensor. This is a dissolved oxygen sensor. Principle is polygraphy principle. Polygraphy with a steel state uh, memory. And uh, for this type of uh, uh, unit, unit did, did, uh, it unit with uh, for waste water, for air, air, air irritation tank, for waste water. And uh, the steel, the, here, here's a protection, protection cap. When you, when you receive a goods uh, for installation, you should uh, remove this cap for measurement, for your measurement. I show you, you know, wait a minute. Here, this is temperature compensation. For dual sensor, it must be with uh, uh, Temperature compensation because the temperature has a uh, effect of for dissolved oxygen. Yes. Okay. You turn it on. Okay. No, we can see this membrane is stainless steel, steel, uh, steel mesh, steel mesh can handle, can handle the particles in waste water. Yes. Another, if you are around the, around the three to six months, then you need to refill the electrolyte in it. Electrolyte in it, refill the electrolyte after three to uh, six months. Okay.
for dissolved oxygen sensor, we have another model. This is too short. We have a chanting to give you. It's a. This one is an optical principle. So hard. Well, this one is uh, you can see the uh, the optical here, blue optical here, is clearly, and the one uh, the uh, the whole material is uh, stainless steel, is a uh, three three one six L material, yes, and uh, we also call it and and the cable is all waterproof, so you can this direct effect for measurement, okay. And uh, for the for for this model, we optical pre dissolved oxygen sensor. We also call it call it uh, as uh, free maintenance because uh, for traditional geo sensor, polygraph polygraph principle type, you then it need uh, refuel the electrolyte after three three to six months according to what they call it. Just, uh, around uh, one year calibration one time. Uh, 小张，翻那个同样拿过来对比一下，那个拿。This one, this one is a polygraphy type. This one is a uh, uh, and uh, no, introduce uh, this uh, sensor, uh, to meet this sensor. What's this to meet this sensor? For this to meet this sensor, it's a uh, it's uh, all the material is also is also all stainless steel material materials for, for harsh waste water, and uh, the the uh, cable is also waterproof, so it can be directly submerged in water for installations. And another advantage it is a uh, auto clean wiper, with auto clean wiper, so usually for waste water it's very very uh, very dirty so we use uh, uh, all the clean wiper and uh, you can set the clean time by itself according to uh, according according to the water okay yes for using for fresh water so we use stainless steel material for sea water we use titanium material to anti corrosive okay you you can come Hi, hi, if you order now, just uh, send an inquiry. We will order. <laughs> okay, order, order. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, by the, by the way, for this all sensor, pH connectivity, uh, pH connectivity, dissolved oxygen, and the turbidity suspended solid, and the COD sensor, it also can be digital time. It also can be digital time. It can be directed with the RS-485. For this one, for example, for this one, it, for all, all sensor, for our or this sensor is, uh, we also call it is a uh, analog sensor. And usually it should be connected with the transmitter, connected with, with the transmitter for, uh, for measurement. And, uh, okay. and uh, now we, we have also uh, produced digital type. The sensor is uh, all sensor, all this sensor, PSG yeah. connectivity, dissolved oxygen, Dissolved oxygen and uh, to be this suspended solid, ammonia, COD, and all can be with digital type. It uh, directly with RS-485. 
So, so you can directly buy, you can only buy the sensor, then connect the data, connect the thing load to your PLC or IoT. Okay, it's all digital type, digital sensor. And uh, and uh, this one, this one is also design design sensor. Design algorithm sensor is for it's uh, it's mainly mainly for use for foundation and the star realization because it can it can handle the one hundred thirty degree and the six bar pressure. Also with the standard VP connection VP six VP connector. Reconnect okay. So, and uh, unit, unit in China, uh, some custom, uh, we, are, we are the largest factory for high temperature pH sensor and it's all the oxygen sensor. So, if you use metal torpedo or hemiden, now you just uh, use the book you brand. Just uh, if you have a need recently, just send an inquiry now, okay? And, uh, and uh, and the lens, uh, we also customize the lens according your need. This is standard uh, 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 twelve and one hundred twenty twenty lens. The, the standard. We also can make the uh, lens according according your need. Yeah, different lens and a pH sensor too. Yeah, different lens according your need. Okay. Now I now I introduce the, the instrument operation. Our our this uh, connect uh, uh, PHU connectivity dissolved origin and the TBTT suspended the solid sensor and easy operation. You just uh, take uh, several minutes. You can load it. It's uh, with it, it's with the Chinese and the English version. Okay. So we input the password. Three one seven seven. Three seven zero zero. The password. Now we change change the change the language to uh, to English. Okay. Now, uh, now we can see the English. Now you can see the it has a multi functions. Now, uh, firstly, show the measured value. Now it's a TDS, TDS and a temperature and the relay. ATC means uh, or ATC means uh, automatic uh, temperature compensation. Working days for the <laughs> and uh, make <laughs> uh, Hello, customer. Wait uh, one minute. <laughs> Send an inquiry now. Maybe. 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 Hello, Hello, 
uh, around uh, around 15 years, around 15 years. Now, uh, uh, now total total staff is around uh, around 200, 100 persons. Year 20 is over is over 100 thousand pieces. Okay, and uh, here is uh, our I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a head office. Head office and uh, uh, now we build a few factories and I'm at a head office and uh, here is the uh, three floor. Sec first and the second uh, second floor is for the production. The third floor is for third floor is for our office. Our our market team is around twenty persons. Okay. Now now uh, introduce our instrument. Now here is our main wood quality analysis for 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 pH negativity, dissolved oxygen, and uh, COD, suspended solid residual chlorine, and uh, and TOC, EDC, and uh, have different heavy metals. Okay, thank you. Okay. 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 Now here is a uh, different uh, sensors. Here is pH, negativity, dissolved oxygen, and activity the sensors. Uh, now introduce uh, the pH sensor. pH sensor. pH sensor mainly mainly for different uh, applications such as uh, uh, pH sensor mainly application for uh, for pure water and uh, drinking water. Uh, waste water, fish farming, and uh, high temperature application, sterilization, and uh, 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 fermentation applications. Now, in uh, this model, this uh, this model is a pH eight zero uh, one two. This model is is uh, popular for waste water and drinking water, and uh, it's uh, a glass membrane in the temperature conversation. Okay. Uh, and uh, thread up, uh, thread up and low thread for submerged installation or cover pipe installations. Okay, this model. And uh, this one, this one of us, our special uh, pH sensor and modeling pH sensor for H HF acid, HF acid, because HF acid has a cross you for for glass membrane, so we use uh, uh, antimony material, okay. And uh, this one, this one is a flat memory. This model is uh, special for power plant that is operation uh, pro process, is operation process. Okay, it's a flat memory. Because the uh, unit for combo, combo for this normally pH sensor in perforation applications, uh, it will attach the some attach some dirty things, dirty content on membrane. If you if you use a flat surface membrane, membrane, they know that uh, uh, know that infections. And uh, this model, this model flat surface membrane uh, pH sensor, the it again. Handle the 90 degree temperature, and uh, this model normally the normally pH sensor can handle the handle 60 pH 60 degree pH 60 degree. Okay. Okay. And uh, this model is uh, model number. This model number is. Uh, uh, ORP, ORP, ORP eight zero eight three. It uh, formula sharp is is looks uh, same as PHG sensor. The main difference uh, uh, is on the memory, memory in uh, the for PHG sensor it's only glass ball, and for ORP sensor it has a platinum ring. Okay, is is it clear? Okay, platinum memory. Okay, for ORP. Okay. 
and uh, we also for for this model we also can make it uh, as totally glass uh, uh, material, glass ma material for pure water or waste water, and uh, but only for okay. and uh, this model is different uh, connectors you can see different connector K K eight S and uh, S eight and V P connection. It's uh, it's for mainly for formulation and sterilization because uh, because the sensor because the sensor can handle the 130 degree and the six bar pressure six bar pressure okay I pick a one for you The connection, the processor, the process connection is PG thirteen point five standard, and uh, the connector can is a uh, KBRS S eight and VP or leading wire, just uh, according to your required at at the uh, local side, and uh, the electrolyte that is uh, with G with geotype, with geotype, when the high when when the when when the temperature raises up to one hundred one hundred uh, uh, uh for example on sterilization, uh, the temperature will raise up to the one hundred and twenty two and uh, keep uh, keep uh, thirty minutes. Then the gel will convert to liquid. Okay. Gel type. And uh, for the common type uh, the, the the membrane is glass ball for high temperature. It's uh, over over shape the membrane. Okay. For this high temperature, we produce many sensors uh, for water quality and other for but for high temperature application or booking terminal build the first high temperature. A laboratory in China. Yo, I don't know. 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 I don't the unit for waste water, we, it's, uh, this is also very popular for waste water and, uh, and farming application. And uh, the housing material, housing material is still, steel, and the membrane is also uh, steel, steel mesh for it can handle the particles, particles in waste water. Okay, steel membrane. Clear? Okay. Holographic. For for using of holographic uh, principle, it need refill the electrolyte after using the three to six months. I show you operation. Firstly, you need to uh, take off the uh, protection cap, and uh, this this stainless steel is uh, for thermal. Uh, it's a temperature compensation, okay? When you refill, when you refill the electrolyte, just uh, take off this uh, cap, okay? Take off this cap, then refill the electrolyte, refill, and then ensure the bubble, the air, uh, ensure the air in this cap, then and then thread it to cut it. Okay. I finish it. But you're cool. Okay, you go. Mm. Mm. Uh, hello, Aaron. Thanks for your waving. Send the inquiry to Phoebe. Okay. And uh, for the Zola Orgogen. For disorder organ, we have another model, optical principle.
This model is optical, optical principle, optical deal sensor. The function. L material is sanitary. We use sanitary material for waste water. <laughs> and uh, with the outer clean, you know, for waste water, the, the water is very harsh and dirty. So we use the outer clean wiper. You can set the clean time according to the water quality. When, when, uh, when the membrane, membrane uh, dirty, you can start the run around uh, the uh, run the wiper to clean the sensor. Okay, to ensure the the uh, measurement occurrence and the stable. Okay, suspended the solid sensor is same same sharp. Okay, as this one. The for this one for this model, and the turbidity max range is up to four thousand four thousand NTO. It's so large. And uh, for uh, for suspended solid, shawan is what? Shawan milligram. Uh, uh, one hundred twenty thousand, hundred thousand ppm for suspended solid. One hundred twenty thousand for suspended solid range. Okay, for turbidity, the max range is uh, uh, four thousand. Okay, four thousand mil. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Liam. Okay. 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 And uh, now we introduce the connectivity sensor. Connectivity sensor has a two type. One is uh, we call it is a connectivity connected in connectivity sensor. Another another is uh, uh, inductive connectivity sensor. Okay. This one, this one is normal uh, normally uh, standard. It's also. Uh, uh, the capacity is also the, the most, is the largest for this model. It's a unit, unit it can from k factor from the 0 0.01 to, to 1.0. So the, uh, the range is uh, two, 20 microsiemens, 200 microsiemens, max to uh, 2000 microsiemens for, for this model. And uh, the sharpen uh, like this. With the uh, upper and nose red for pipe installation and uh, uh, submodular in installation, all is okay. And uh, uh, the, the sensor material is stainless steel, okay. And uh, another that is uh, this model. <coughs> this model is the sharp is totally same, just the uh, material is different. This, this model is totally totally stainless steel. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Neon. Neon, yeah, yeah, do you have any question? <laughs> and uh, 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 this model is totally uh, stainless steel material. And uh, material is uh, SS316L, sanitary material. So this model, this stainless, uh, all stainless steel material model, it can uh, handle the temperature uh, raise up to 130 degrees. And uh, it also can handle the uh, six bar pressure. Okay. If you have a high temperature application, choose this one. If for normal application, then choose uh, this one. Okay. Uh, and uh, this, another model, this one. This is a trick lamp, trick with a trick lamp application. 
It's a trick climb. You know the trip climb uh, connection. It's a easy installation, easy installation, easy installation, and uh, quick installation and uh, easy to clean. So it's mainly used for CRP clean and uh, for our pharmacy. Yes. Okay. It's all sanitary material. We also. Nick. Hmm? Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. If you uh, introduce to any water quality sensors or another, just uh, leave you a message or an email. Okay. We will give you a reply quickly. Hmm. Okay. Trick number connection. This a uh, very classic uh, uh, connectivity sensor. <laughs> And uh, this model, this model is uh, is uh, inductive type. We as pre previous said we call uh, we we call uh, this one is a conductive 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 sense. For this is use inductive principle principle. Yes. So so we we also call call this one is a. Uh, is uh, a non conductive uh, connectivity sensor. Using the material is PP material. PP material it can raise 100, uh, 100 up to 100, 100 degree. And uh, pressure, max pressure, pressure is uh, uh, 16 bar. And uh, we also have another material is uh, uh, PFM material. PFM material is uh, for 150 degree. 105 degree, okay, and uh, it's uh, mainly for m mainly used for the very very harsh or dirty industrial waste water, or very high concentration uh, acid or alkali, such as uh, uh, sulfur acid or H HCl acid, very very high concentration or alkali, okay. This model. Uh, hello, you're a man. Honey, male, shower, you're a man. 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 You're a we all can be make it as a digital type. Uh, what's the meaning of digital? Uh, digital means uh, one is for eight five single. Uh, we integrate the digital chip with sensor together. So so if you if you don't need the display, you just uh, find the sensor. Only find this sensor can it can directly connect with your. DLC or IoT or uh, uh, either country room. Okay, this digital type is directly with a, a standard IS485 and also with a waterproof cable for submerged installations. Okay, this digital pH and uh, digital connectivity. Okay, just for your reference. And uh, now we introduce uh, this model. This uh, is our MPG. The model is MPG six zero nine nine, and uh, it's very popular. It's very popular for uh, for, for foreign market, for Vietnam and uh, uh, England, 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 and uh, America, and uh, Indonesia. It's all very popular. Because uh, because it can integrate the different different sensor in one, it can integrate the pH, connectivity, dissolution, suspended solid, COD, or all sensor can integrate in one touch screen, touch screen, and uh, it also with local data log function. Data log and uh, also it can can be with uh, wireless. If you have this wireless, then you can uh, monitor the data on your on your website and mobile. So just uh, give you uh, one example. If you are farming, a big farming, so you 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 have uh, this uh, instrument. You just uh, 
sitting in office, then you can know the water quality uh, in, in your farming. Okay, so it's uh, easy for using. Yeah. Hello, Alan. Hello, Alan. Uh, any question, just uh, leave your inquiry. If you want to know more things, just uh, leave your uh, message here or send an inquiry to, to book your instrument. Okay. Yeah. Now we introduce uh, the different uh, introduce uh, the different uh, uh, transmitter connectivity design version and uh, stability for a few. Uh, now we introduce uh, connectivity. Now it has uh, uh, two languages English and Chinese. English and Chinese. Now we can see it shows the TDS, TDS, and uh, Cambridge. And uh, and uh, release. ATC means uh, automatic uh, temperature conversation. And uh, current output and the date, data and time, and uh, measurement data, it shows the uh, measurement on measuring because it can negate with the data uh, sensor. Okay. Uh, no operation, show you operation. It, it's very easy, the, the, it will be, be the human interface. So it's a very easy op operation. Uh, you put a password. So uh, we can. For this model, uh, connectivity, it can measure connectivity, sanity, TDS, and receptivity. It's a multi-function, very multi-function. You can choose uh, the uh, parameters according according your need. And uh, it also has two connectivity, uh, two uh, current output. One is for measurement data, another is for temperature. Okay. And Modbus, Modbus address, default address, uh, there, there are two. You also can uh, change it, modify it according to according your need. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Partech. Hello, welcome Partech. Uh, leave your message. Just uh, 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 any need. Leave your message. Okay. Find the time. Find the read. And uh, temperature. Set. And uh, has a three three release. Why it has a three release? Really, for the most most uh, uh, transmitter on market, it only has uh, two relay. No, <coughs> we have three relay. Uh, uh, one re two the two the uh, two relay is for high and low control. The third relay is for clean. You can can, function. and also you can set the delay time. High and low country. Okay, and the third relay is for clean. You can set the clean period myself. Okay. And also with storage, storage, storage function. Storage function is uh, can recording uh, 1,000 1, times, times data. Okay. Uh, that's all, and the data. You can set, the, set your local data according to your time zone and the language. Chinese and English. Okay, this is uh, and uh, 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 now we, I give you an uh, introduction to this model, turbidity model. This uh, turbidity model mainly uh, for range can uh, measure. This one is integrated type. Usually for, usually, uh, for most, uh, most uh, manufacturer who are a supplier company, they just uh, uh, provide the transmitter and the sensor with customers. Uh, many customers receive the goods, receive the goods, it, uh, they have a very difficult 
direct the four installations, many problems for installations. So our company directed directly in, in integrated all the transmitter and uh, sensors and the pipe and the valve all in one cabinet. So when customer receives the goods, receive this uh, our capacity meter, just uh, connect the, the connect the uh, power wire and the uh, pipe, then it can working. Uh, you, users do not need to do any extra work. It's uh, easy using. So so it's very popular. It's quite very popular for foreign market. And uh, it's mainly this model mainly for uh, clean water, such as drinking water. The range, the range can be has two, has a two range for for option. One is for uh, zero to twenty NGO. Another model is uh, another model is uh, one uh, zero to one hundred NGO. Now I show you I show show you the. Uh, in the in the side, in the, in the side, okay. This is the inner side. It's very it is a uh, uh, very simple. Look, looks very simple, but uh, it will save you save you this much work for installations. When you receive the good, just uh, connect the pipe, inner pipe and the alternate pipe. Then it's okay. Yes, and uh, this uh, this turbidity sensor, turbidity is uh, use a laser 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 uh, laser source, so it's very accurate, and uh, also with the plastic uh, remove bubble systems, and ensure ensure the measurement uh, not affected by the air bubble. Uh, Another another it has a solid wire, you know, you know, uh, even hack hack also don't have uh, this function. Our to be the sensor has uh, this uh, function. Unit 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 for long time long time measurement. It will be some solid uh, solid in the sensor. So we use uh, we we integrate integrated the solid wire to auto clean auto clean the sensor. To ensure the long working, working, uh, long working measurement, long measurement time, and ensure the occurrence. Okay. Now, now I show you the operation. Operation. Uh, now we import the password. Password is uh, three seven zero zero. Changes uh, that it's a uh, matrix English. English. Okay. Now you can see, you can see zero the solution the the mini the uh, the limited uh, low limit is uh, zero point zero one NTO very very accurate. You can if you you can. By one side, compare it with Hack brand. You can compare it with Hack brand, okay? And uh, it also has um, a multi function, multi function, and measure the data and the relay function, current output, and the time. Now we show you the operation. Easy operation, you just take uh, several minutes, you can load it, okay? We uh, import the password. No, we have a uh, two unit for for option NTO and uh, FTU. And uh, you know some Europe country, Europe country like uh uh unit like to use uh, FTU. So we we have a uh, two unit for option and uh, for two twenty million setting. Motor bus, motor bus, and uh, you can modify. Mod the address can be modified by your by by, by yourself at the side in the bundle read. You can three 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 four option three bundle bundle read.
and uh, to release to release for high and low control control set. This one auto auto switch auto switch is our most uh, advantages. Just uh, this function auto auto switch. You can set the uh, clean time period. During one day or two days, you can set it. Uh, default, uh, default is one day clean, one time. Okay. And the storage. Storage, it can, it can record uh, the data 1,000 times. Okay, that's all. Easy using, easy installations. Okay. And uh, now we introduce your uh, Chlorine, that residual chlorine, this model. Your residual chlorine. Residual chlorine is very popular for swimming pool and drinking water applications. Uh, it's uh, the function is uh, same same as the turbidity meter. We integrated uh, all parts all parts in one cabinet and uh, saves the uh, saves the much work for installations at, at the side. The inner side is very simple. Uh, a sensor and uh, and a flow cell. <coughs> sensor and a flow cell. Okay. And the valve, you can you can adjust the flow. You can adjust the the flow. Okay. Yes. And uh, now we introduce uh, this model. This model is is also a residual chlorine analyzer. It measures pH and uh, residual chlorine pH and the temperature in in turn in one. And uh, the screen is ten inch in the touch screen. It's touch screen. We can we can see the operation. You can here is a uh, data. You can see the real cold data, real temperature, and the pH, real cold data, okay. And uh, all my data will be recording residual temperature and the pH will be will be uh, will be recording. Today, today is uh, uh, eleven. November, November three, November three. Okay, and the historical, historical here. Okay, different uh, par parameters. Uh, the color also different, also different. Okay, also the data also can be downloaded by exporter. Welcome, friend. Okay, the you can download the report. You can choose the time. Or, or directly download yesterday reported, today reported, last month reported, and this month reported. It is the operation and the calibration. pH calibration, easy. And for foreign market, we use a 4, 7, 4, 7, and 10. And the chlorine. Uh, calibration easy operation because it's touch screen okay you, you need uh, to measure pH and the residual chlorine uh, in one at the same at the same time then you can just uh, choose uh, this model okay uh, 
Now uh, introduce uh, our uh, this uh, enchantment for COD, BOD, ammonia nitrogen, total phosphate, and uh, total nitrogen, for, and uh, some high metal like uh, iron, copper, zinc, lead, or uh, high metals, and uh, over 16 different uh, high metals for uh, this enchantment can make you. You can, the resolution, the resolution is uh, a pop, uh, 0 0.001, the resolution, very accuracy, okay? It's a totally auto automatic wrong, automatic calibration, automatic wrong, yes. The, the design, the design is also from England, so Europe, uh, Europe customer is very like this model, yes. It's a very international, international uh, shop, okay? When when the measured data over the certain value, the uh, uh, the the lamp will be blinking. 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 Now we check the uh, inner side. We can see different uh, engine. It's the uh, inner side. The Welcome. Welcome, friend. Uh, this uh, reagent, uh, reagent, the workflow is uh, is like this. And uh, firstly, it will take uh, the water sample to this uh, mild tube. Then through the line wave well, then to this uh, digestion table, digestion tank. All, all the all the reagent will will together mixed in digestion tank, and uh, the temperature will raise up to the 165. Then around the 30 minutes, then you will get a, a data. Okay, it's uh, easy. The wrong uh, the operation is totally automatic. Okay. Just leave a message, just uh, leave, leave your uh, email or uh, whatever number on um, um, message, okay? Welcome you next time. Oh, shut the camera.